Hello, hello. It's Dana. Nope. Oh, I'll get mic. Hello, it's Dana. I got a package from the post office. It is smashed a little bit and wet, but I'm happy it's here. I I answered an, a post on Instagram from Bohemian Llama. If you haven't seen her channel, check it out. She has a store too, and the links are there. And she was she's moving kind of away from journal making into mixed media. I, on the other hand, am kind of have been moving. I moved away from mixed media a little while ago. I still do it every once in a while, but I'm more into journaling. And she wants to know, she has a lot of supplies of beads. Well, hi, Grandma Jo. Hi, Belinda. Hi, Denise. Hey, everybody. So she wanted to know about a trade. And I was like, hey, you know what? That sounds fantastic. And so we talked and we did a video call and I basically told her anything like I love, I don't need any more beads and I'm not going to be spending money to buy beads, but I am a little sick of the beads that I have to, to be honest. So look how pretty, oh my goodness. I didn't, I don't think I included a card. That's bad. Look at these, look at these little layered die cuts and she put these little clear um, what do you call those nouveau dots, like raindrops? Oh, that's sweet. Oh, thank you, Jackie. All right. So again, her channel is Bohemian Llama. And let's get into this box because I'm kind of excited to see what she sent. So, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and move the box over a bit. It doesn't look like anything's mushed. Thanks, post office. She put some little pretty, here, let me bring this back. There's some little pretty glitter pieces in here, some little hearts and some little um, pieces of shred. So let's see, let's get into this first. And she's gonna do a video today. She's working today, but she said she's gonna do a video of her Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. She said this was one of the last journals she made. She did not finish sewing the pages or adding tags, etc. but I want you to have it. Oh my, oh my. Oh, look how pretty this is. The little roses. I love this lady. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? And there's a little tag in there. Oh, and this is all embossed with, with postage um, postmarks. I don't know if, if the camera's picking that up. Can you see that? This is all embossed and coffee or tea stained. And then she added this little snippet paper clip. There's a little bingo card. Oh, this is a, a policy envelope. And there's a couple. Oh, she put some tickets in there. And there's a little card and some more tickets. Oh, and it says lucky. It's the definition of lucky. So that's cool. This is really pretty. One of those little layered stickers and more coffee dyed paper and some little journaling spots. I think. Is this open? Nope, this is folded over for a card. That's cool. It's in French. And there's a little bag, and she's made a card with an index card with some stamps and stickers. And this says for a moment. Oh, I love this paper, this invoice paper. And there's a map. And some more tags. This says Daylight Dreams. And it's got a little sticker. And here we've got a doily and another. Some more flowers. More coffee stain paper. And here she's made. She's tucked a little envelope under this belly band. Look how pretty this envelope is. I love that. And then, oh, wow. Wow. May you touch dragonflies and stars 
dance with fairies and talk to the moon. Isn't that pretty? Look at that postcard. Oh, I love dragonflies. Oh, I love this little set. And then she put it under the, underneath this belly band and kind of flip that over the side. I love this vintage trim. I love all the butterflies too. More ledger paper. And this looks like, this is kind of a lavender color. And then she's used a um, yarn to, to, for the binding. So this is the other half of those papers. Oh, she made a little um, snippet with a bulb pin and a bead. I love this paper. I love this paper too. This is in my first pocket letter. I cut out one of those ladies and used her in my first pocket letter. I have this, I have this um, paper stack. I love that. Oh, look at that. The roses. And she did some sewing on this. She sewed a little piece of pink lace and put a little snippet and heart. And I think these are one of those tags that come in this stack. I love those. I always say I'm going to buy them and I just haven't. I haven't thought to go pick some up. And then she's got another little bulb pin here with some pretty little beads on it. And a little tuck spot here with a little die cut in there. And then let's see the other half of that ledger paper and that bag. It says a gracious smile from thee. More coffee stain paper. And then the back, she's made a little tearaway sheet with some coffee stained paper and a tag with a little bird cage on it out of coffee or tea stained paper. I think that's coffee because it's darker. And then a big ticket and another little journaling spot. Oh. Oh, it's her. It says Lama Stay. Is this not cute? Okay, this is her information if you're interested. Her store is www.bohemianlama.com. She's on Facebook at bohemianlama.com. Um, and you can email her at bohemianlama at outlook.com. And it says she has handmade jewelry, arts, and crafts. I love that Lama Stay. That's so cute. Oh, look, and she's stamped handmade with love. And then there's a little, a little um, die cut here this book belongs to. Well, thank you. That's very sweet. All right. So these are fun. She sent me some of these. Um, these are Christmas, it looks like. And then so are these. She sent me some of these little um, cupcake holders. So those are always fun to make rosettes with. And I do want to do a December daily one of these days. And let's see. She sent napkins too. Oh, and look at these little foam pieces. She sent some more Christmas items. Oh, it's the little Nutcracker girl and a toy soldier. Oh, and here's the Mouse King from the Nutcracker some little stars and a little swan. Oh, look at them. Aren't they adorable? Look at these two. Oh, I love them. And here's a deer head. Let's check out these napkins. Oh my God. I love these napkins. Oh, look, I got Easter bunny napkins and she sent me a stack of these. Oh, Sue is going to flip her lid when she sees this parrot and the, the orchids and there's a hibiscus. Oh my goodness. And a butterfly. Aren't these pretty? Is that? Yeah. So there's four of that pattern on every napkin. Nice. This says enjoy simple pleasures. These are great napkins to tear this out and put a focal point on something or an envelope. Oh, aren't these cute? These are like little um, policy envelopes. I wonder if she made these out of just patterned paper, but aren't they cute? Oh, I love this one. I love the colors. And then let's see, what do we got here? She sent some bags, some wax paper bags and some white paper bags. And we have some dollar store stickers. 
I love them all. Oh, I love all these. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I bought this same set and used it all up. So I, I'm thrilled to get more of them because I think these stickers are so pretty. Oh, I love this. Never lose hope. In all things, it is better to hope than to despair. Always there is hope. Cherish the simple things. Yeah, I love these. I love these. And I put those in, in Thad's journal when I made him a journal one time for, um, oh, look at this. That'll make a cute fabric flip too. Look at all the tropical flowers on the edge. So um, I used those these same cherished stickers when I made Thad a Valentine's Day journal. Uh, how do I love thee? <laughs> I made him a, a book of of little layouts. All right, let me put this stuff back in here for now. Otherwise, I'm going to have everything all over the place. All righty. And then she sent some index cards. I use those all the time. Some of these have washi tape on them. Oh, just this top one has washi tape on them. But that's a cute idea. Oh, and some tags and journaling cards. I love tags and journaling cards. I can always use, look how pretty some of these are. That is from that little book, I think. And then there's some big tickets. And I recognize that paper stack, but I don't know what it is. This says the search for happiness. And there's some, I think these are... Um, what do you call these? The um, Let me turn the bright light off. Oh, what do you call the cards that they sell in a pack? Project Life. I wonder if these are all like Project Life. Oh, that's cute. Oh, these are cute. Too little time. Ain't that the truth? So those are cute. Too many ideas. It says daily report. Trust yourself. Remember, I love that little car. Oh, let's get creative today. I love that one. All right, let's see what else here we've got. For the record. Oh, I love the bike. You know, I got to put that with my son's stuff. I'm putting a lot of bikes and he is a bike freak. I shouldn't call him a freak, but he is like crazy biker guy. Make something amazing. It says, Oh, another bike to keep your balance. You must keep moving. Mm, ain't that the truth? Totally worth it. It says, oh, look at all the cute little cameras. Again, create something beautiful every day. Make something amazing here and there. I'd go anywhere with you. Follow your heart. Focus, focus, focus. Oh, looky here. We have real postcards. with writing and stamps and postmarks. Look, that's so cool. This is from Roy Davis. To somewhere in Missouri. This is Louisiana, Loudermeek. Mr. and Mrs. Loudermeek. Having more fun, seeing more than we can. Hmm. You should be along. These are cool. This one's from Texas from 1913. Wow. Wow, check that out. Oh my goodness. Forest Park, Illinois, 1956. 1951 from Harry. This is from Harry. Look how nice that writing is. 
This is super cool. You know, this is the Shrine of the Immaculate Conception. And she showed me these in Washington, D.C. This has got beautiful artwork in it. The marble, the Byzantine, it's got terrazzo. It's amazing. And she sent me an entire set of postcards from that monument in Washington, D.C. It is amazing. Look at some of the stained glass work. Like, it is so pretty. This is a portion of the ceiling of the crypt at, inside the shrine. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh. This is actually a mosaic. I know it looks like a painting. This is a mosaic. Oh, nice, Grandma Joe. Yeah, I was cooking myself. Oh, look at these. Look at these. SOS cleans white wall tires. I remember my dad cleaning white wall with Clorox bleach, like the powder, Ajax and stuff. Do you guys remember your parents doing that? When, um, when you were a kid, I remember that. Those who want the best. <laughs> Sky Chief. Oh, go lucky. That's when smoking was cool, wasn't it? Or according to the ads, Vermouth Martini. Look at her hat. Costume California. Life stride shoes. Oh, here's Cadillac. Woo, fancy. Here's contacts 2A and 3A. And that's the way... Like when Canon came out, Canon came out with a 35 millimeter, the A1. And it was just like top of the line back in the day. And then it came out with the AE1. Proudly presenting silhouette. Look at this TV. Oh, here we go. Look at dad and son in their jammies doing their morning calisthenics. Oh, look at her hat. She's she fancy. They're dancing on the record player. It's a spinoff. No. <laughs> Jansen sweaters. Don't they look smart in their sweaters? Isn't this cool? Oh, she put a little note. Original postcards, vintage postcards, project life journaling cards and tags, and vintage faux postcards. Like it's no drama llama, it says. <laughs> Well, this is a cool pack of stuff. That's a ton of stuff. That's super exciting. I love all of it. All right, let's see what else is in this box. There's a lot of stuff in this box. What is this? This is, oh. She sent me, the, okay, so there's some stuff on here that was in the, like the, that was in the box, but she sent me an embellished box. Yeah. Wow. Check this out. Does this come down like this? This pulls up. Okay. Let me get this shred off. Oh, look inside. It's decorated inside. Oh, cool. There's some little cards. Oh, doilies. Oh my gosh, I love these doilies. Look at these doilies. Oh yeah. Aren't those pretty? They're really, really pretty. And some little envelopes. And some more deer. Oh, look at the little gingerbread felties and the pumpkin felties. Oh, and look at the hair. Oh, I love this. This um, this fabric has little vintage ads on it. So that is so cool. Look at the, is this Tim Holtz fabric? That looks like so Tim Holtzy to me. Does he sell fabric? 
You'd think I would know that. That is so cool. Oh, I love this. It's so vintagey. Look how vintagey it is. Oh, and another one of these. Yes. Yes, yes. I love this. Yeah, and this one's a little bit more, looks a little bit more faded out than this one, I think. Is that, yeah, because the background's just a little different on that. Oh, yeah, I love that. Oh, how pretty. Look at this Christmas ribbon, and it's got word art. I love word art. And it's all the, um, you could use it for Christmas. Actually, you could use it for um, Easter, too. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, look at the feathers. These are so cool. The feathers have pictures on them. I've never seen these. Look at these feathers. And you know what? I'm putting some feathers in Andrew's journal. For our Native American heritage stuff. Oh my gosh, you know what's in here? You know what else is in here with these feathers? <gasps> Ooh, I love these. I do not have any of these. I've never bought any of these. I haven't even really seen them, but out, you know. But I've seen people use them. Look at these. These are the little flower charms that have the fabric. And then they have a little place where you can make put a jump ring and add them onto a charm, a journal, or a tag or whatever. So there's a bunch of those in here. Look, there's a moose in here. She sent me all kinds of fun little things. Look at this. There's a little tree and this little uh, like sequin snippet thing with, and it's got beads on it. <clears throat> and there's another tree in a darker green. Oh, and another moose. Oh, it's a button. She sent me a moose button. Oh, my God. Everyone knows I have a button obsession. Oh, look at these. How cute are these? She sent me these little jingle bells with happy faces on them. Can you see that? Look, they're smiling. Ain't that cute? That's so stinking adorable. Oh, and some of these little fuzzy charms. I love these. Aren't these cute? Look, let me pull some out. She sent these with the little poof. They're like a little poofy ball, but they have a little um, place where you can hook a jump ring on. So that's super cute. Oh, there's another button. Oh, I love the moose button. That's so stinking adorable. And all these little fuzz balls and jingle bells, but I love these flowers. Oh my goodness, look at these flowers. Oh, that's a, not a flower, but... Aren't they gorgeous? Oh my goodness. Ah, I love, love, love it. Oh my goodness. It's like my birthday. Oh my God. Look at all these. Okay. She sent me like a ton. I told her I like like weird, multicolored, patterned. And I was just trying to kind of describe what I like. But, and these are like ice cold, by the way. Literally, they're steaming up as I pull them out. But look at some of these natural stone beads that she sent. Oh, I love them. Oh, and look at this one. This one's gorgeous. Look, it has like a little metallic line through it. These are all glass, too. Oh, look at this one. This one's got these little, this little print, print on it. Can you see that? I don't know if I'm holding it up close enough. Oh, these are pretty. Look at this weird one. Gosh, I, this is like right up my alley. Look at this. Yeah, that's weird. I love it. And you know what? You can put a bead in the middle of that on your string, string it through, put another bead in the middle of that. That's cool. I like that. Oh, look, there's a little puppy down here. There's a little puppy. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'll see him here. And then in this bag. Oh, I love these. I love these faceted beads. I can never, I 
I run out of those a lot. I can never have enough of those. And then these really pretty leaves. Look at these leaves and they're kind of pearly, but they're and they're plastic, but you could still you could paint them. I could paint them if I didn't want to if I didn't want them the white pearl, but I think the white pearl is pretty. Oh, look at these beans. These are nice. Look at those. There's some clear ones. They're all multifaceted. And these are glass beans. And then she sent me some charms. Look at these little tassels. I've never seen those little loop tassels like that. Those are cool. And then she sent me a pearl, a strand of pearls. I can always use these pearls, especially these off-white ones. I love this peachy beige color. She sent me some of these letter charms, letter beads, I mean. What am I saying charms? Leather beads. Let me get it to where there's no glare on it. There we go. And some little heart buttons. And what else? Oh, snowflakes. Look how pretty these snowflakes are. I don't know where she found those. Those are cool. Oh my God, this is cool. What is that? I don't even know what this is. Oh, she sent me two. Look at these, this leafy, I don't know. It's a charm. I'm totally using that. I love it. So one to hoard and one to use. There we go. <laughs> Look at all the buttons. I didn't even tell her I was obsessed with buttons. Oh, she sent me some. She made some. Um, she made some dangle charms. They're already on pins. And she sent me some already made. Look how pretty these are. Oh, and some bead caps. Look how big those bead caps are. I don't have any of that size. Look at these dangle charms. Let's go. Let's look in here and pull, get these out because these are. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Look, it's got the iridescent heart, and that one's got the little wings on it. I love that. It's got a it's got a rondelle in the middle. And that's got a rondelle, and that's got a these are perfect. These little ones are perfect for like um, tab charms in the journal. And yeah, and oh here I dropped one. Look, she made a flower with a couple bead caps and a little. Isn't that pretty? Here, let me set these down. Oh my gosh, I love these. Look at these are fabric covered like little buttons that you can glue down or use as magnetic closures, which is probably what I'm going to do. And they look like little mushroom caps. Oh my gosh, those are so stinking adorable. And look at these. These are cool. Look at these beads. Aren't these weird? I love that. I love that they're such a weird shape. I don't know what, uh oh, man overboard. Oh, look at these. That's kind of, I don't even know where the string goes in there. <laughs> the holes are up here. That would might, that might be cool on a, um, on the binding. This is cool. Oh, I love that. Look at the, all the little sparkly stuff inside this. That's a plastic bead, but that would be cool on a journal. Oh, look at this. And the hole is diagonal through it. So I love that because it's so weird and like warp. See how it's like warpy? I don't know. why. Those are kind of hard to find. Like you just don't, don't find them. Oh, she sent me some bulb pins. You just don't find those kind of beads in mainstream. Oh, look at this. That's gorgeous. And my son will totally talk me out of this. He loves crystals and their, their healing energy. Look at these big bead caps, how big these are. I don't have any that big. Oh, look at that. That's kind of a crazy, crazy bead. I told her I like crazy beads and she sent me some crazy ones, didn't she? Oh, and some leaves. I love leaves. You can always use leaves. I love anything organic. Oh, and these bead caps. I love these. Never enough of the... And some copper chain. And some copper bead caps. Oh, and some antique gold bead caps. This is my jam right here. I love antique gold. And I use it all the time. And look at, let me set some of this stuff down. Let me put these back. These are going to roll off. Let me just hold this bag up because I think, 
Oh, she sent me some of these flower caps. I love these. I can never find these. I think I'm going to go and order some of these because I love these. But look at these. Look at all these gorgeous beads. Oh, I love that one and that one. I love that. And that's really cool. I love the textured beads. Fun, fun, fun. So much fun in one box. Let me put this back in this bag. And all this is going to have to go into my bead area. Yep, this too. Well, not the buttons, but... I'll have to separate that all later, won't I? Such good stuff. Oh my goodness, Jackie. Awesomeness. All this awesomeness. I love these pearls. Love, love, love. I love it all. All right, let me set this over here. And then we've got, what do we have here? Oh, there's a little, another card. Oh, I love this. I love this because I can use one page at a time. I love buying these, and I'll tell you why. I just bought one. Um, let me see if I can find the one I picked up. Uh, I don't know. I just bought one not long ago. I think I already put it away. But... Each one of these pages is patterned, and if you tear this page off, you can actually make it um, like a <clears throat> like a policy envelope cover or a journaling tag with just this attached to a nice thick piece of cardstock, or even a couple of um, you know like index cards or something on the back to make a nice sturdy uh, what you call journaling card. So I love that. And then what do we have in the bottom here? All right. We're at the bottom of the box and there's another note. And it says, Dana, this is what I have left from the print. Oh, she sent me Artie Mae's printables from, that she bought from her Etsy stop, st shop. She said, did you know that she gives some freebies? Just go down there and download them for free. Oh my God, look how gorgeous this is. Look at this lady on the front. I'm so hoarding this stuff. Oh, that's pretty. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, look at all this stuff. <laughs> I love Artie Mays. Oh my goodness, look at these. Aren't these so pretty? Oh, look at these ladies. Oh my goodness, they're gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, I love the flowers. Look at her hair. Oh, look at these gorgeous ladies. Oh my goodness. And these postcards, these foldable cards. Look at this. Good morning. Here's a letter from Jim Brown from the Fence and Wire Company. This bill shall something current in all payments in this state for 10 Spanish milled dollars or the value thereof in gold or silver according to the Revolution of the Convention of New York on the 13th day of August 1776. That's pretty cool. Look at all this ephemera. Oh my goodness. Look at these pull tabs. These are old pull tabs too. Look at that. 1912. That's the year my grandma was born. Nineteen twenty-nine. Hmm. 
Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. Oh, I love these. These are gorgeous. Oh, look at the cut aparts. Oh, I love them all. Oh, look at these ladies. Look at these ladies. Uh, these must be, I don't know if they're, they're um, cotillion photos or wedding photos. Oh, these are gorge. Oh, my goodness. Look at these tags. And there's little hearts at the bottom. Oh, there's even an envelope to cut out and fold up. Oh, my gosh. These are gorgeous. And stuff. You can fussy cut all of this stuff. And tickets. Oh, and look at the little um, book plate. Uh, oh, there's another envelope. Am I going too fast? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this collage. I love that. Oh, I love all these cut aparts. Oh, pretty. This is pretty with the, oh, I love them both, but. Oh. You know, this came from a really old book to have the artwork on the page like that around the print. Look at these tags. Aren't these cool? You cut them apart and fold them over. Beware of low flying hot air balloons in this vicinity. <laughs> Beware of low, the, some, the steampunk stuff is cool. Oh, the roses. Look at all the roses. And this is in French. Oh, these are going to be really good. These are going to come in super handy. Okay. Super handy. Oh, more envelopes and more collage. Oh, my goodness. Look at this girl, the Nestle way. Uh, pompadour protector. Oh, yes. Look at these ladies. Aren't they fancy? Oh, nice. Nice, nice watercolor on collage. And then tabs. Look, she's even got cut apart tickets and flags and tabs. And more of these ladies. Oh, I love the ladies in the envelope. My goodness. Postcards. More cut apart. Oh, the Christmas stuff is so pretty. Best wishes for, oh, look at this. I am going to have to do a December daily this year. That is it. Like, I have to. I just cannot not keep going year after year. I think I'm going to do it in, like, October. Because <laughs> I don't have time at Christmas. Look at all this stuff. There's a card from 71. Here's an operator's license from 1928 from the Pennsylvania Department of Highway. That's cool. Grandma Joe, I should send you a copy of that. Oh, I can't make copies of this stuff. This is already made stuff. What am I saying? Well, I should just send that to you. Look at this. Oh, I love the bugs. You guys know I love the bugs and let's put bees on everything. Save the bees, people. I know we're trying to save turtles with the straws, but we got to plant some milkweed and flowers and save the butterflies and the bees, too. Look, there's another one of those envelopes. It's a small envelope, but I love the mushrooms on it. And look at the mushroom tags. I love mushrooms. Oh, my God. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Love, love, love this. Oh, these are gorgeous. And the birds. OMG. Oh, look at this Christmas one with the little church. Oh, if all your days throughout the year were crowded into one, I'd fill it full of Christmas cheer from morning till set of sun. Aww. 
Oh, more tickets and banners. Oh my goodness. And mushrooms, the gorgeous, gorgeous mushrooms that are sewn and layered and sewn some more with book pages and tickets and all sorts of fun stuff. Oh, another envelope, another mushroom envelope, some more tags. Oh my goodness. Look at the fuchsia. Let's see what's this. So she sent me some little bits and pieces that she may or may not have known were in here, but that's okay. I'm going to use them because they're coffee stained and they're gorgeous. Oh goodness. Look at this. Look at this. She's punched apparently the edge of this, but I think you could use it just as it is, even though it's a little rough because that's the fun of that, isn't it? Oh, and look at this. She's got some kind of, um, what is this? This is some kind of Christmas snowflake, uh, punch or banner, uh, border maker. She laid this on something to dry and I wonder what it was because it made this cool little pattern and more coffee stained paper and more of that lovely edges on here. I think this is an eight that she used for that an eight. She just didn't flip it over. Maybe I love those punches though. Look at all of them. Look at that. Oh, and look at that. Well, these are folded over, but let me, let me push them out so you can see. This is actually quite cool. I would probably dye this. I will probably coffee stain this and glue it down to something else. Or well, I could leave it white, I guess, and glue it down to something else. But I love that. Can you see the edge on that? But they're a little bent up. But that's okay. They're not, none of them are torn off. So it's totally usable. That's cool. I don't, I've never even seen this punch or edge die, whatever that is. That might be a cricket or something doing that to you. Well, what, what a box of joy that was. I think you can do whatever you want with any of those images. They can't be copyrighted by nobody because they're on the public domain. Now people print and sell them. Well, but she's altered some of this stuff. I'm sure she's layered. You know, you can take Photoshop and put flowers on top of prints, on top of things. And then once you do that, you can copyright it. But also, um, yeah, stuff like that is, I'm sure, is not copyrighted. Stuff like that, that driver's license, because who would do that? <laughs> who would copyright their license? I'm not sure. But this thrills me. I love these ladies. Mm. Aren't they so pretty? Well, that improves my mood. I know, Grandma Joe. I know what you're saying. And I don't even know if you'd want a Pennsylvania driver's license. Are you wanting to leave Pennsylvania behind and say good riddance? Or are you going to miss it? I'm going to put these back in here just to keep them clean until I get them all situated. Thank you, Belinda. I'm really excited with this trade. I think that that I got a lot of good stuff. <laughs> Grandma Joe. <laughs> okay. I didn't, I didn't even uh, ask you. I was just like, oh, I should send this to Grandma Joe. But yeah, I, then it occurred to me, you may not want it. And you don't. So good. No, no worries about that. <laughs> I'm actually going to put this, some of this stuff back in this box until I can start sorting it. So what are you all making? 
anything. Look at this little little doodad, little end of the an envelope there. I didn't put any pretties in my um I didn't put any pretties in my package to her. I just like I jammed as much stuff as I could fit in a box <laughs> and make it close. So I don't even think I put a card. Now I feel bad. Jackie, if you're watching this, I, I'm sorry. I didn't even think to give you a card. Duh, Dana. Okay, well, I am losing power again, so I better end this video. I don't know if you saw the lights flicker, but, well, I better go. I better go. We've got storms in the area, and I'm on the highest point, one of the highest points. Uh-oh, flickering again. Sorry if you're buffering or if maybe you can't even hear me anymore but i'm gonna go ahead and shut my computer down all right ladies hopefully i'll come back after the storm do some crafting have a good evening enjoy your dinner belinda and thanks for coming by everybody denise and grandma joe and i'll see you guys later hopefully bye